Okay, take like five. I just lowered it so it's easier for me to film. But anyway, you're climbing up. It's still pretty tall. You can't stand up. <laughs> Normally there's not a branch above your head, but um, you get up in and you just pull your rope to tighten it. And I like to kind of put my weight into it just to make sure it's like secure onto the tree before I like fully put all my weight. Could just be me being paranoid about falling. I don't know, but don't do this, but I'm gonna break that. Okay. So now I'm in the tree, and this is what's awesome about the saddlebags is you have all your stuff like right here at your hips, so you're not having to like fumble with your backpack. Um, so what I like to do next is put my my gear holder rope out and anything else like my back support you can literally just clip it into your carabiner for now just to hold it get it out of your way so this I like to have pretty high simply because I want my bow and my backpack about arm's reach you know that way that's less movement of like taking it off the hook and you know swinging around or whatever if you live in a spot that you have a lot of spooky deer, it's good to have the least amount of movement you can. <laughs> so, uh, okay. literally all this is is just um, a hook on the end, and you're just gonna put it into whichever one of these fits around the tree, pull it tight, keep it snug, you're good to go. And then if you're if you're feeling extra like nervous about it got these extra little clips here so what I do is once it's around the tree I'll show you I don't know if you guys can see but I'll do a close-up Anyway, what I'll do is I'll take these clips and secure them together on the on the taunt side so that way there's no way it can come loose. Just a personal preference. blah 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 actually gonna move this up okay so you got your hooks up in the tree now I can take your backpack off I'm not gonna lie, this is my absolute least favorite part. This is the hardest part about the whole thing for me. Cause I got all my camera gear in my backpack and it's heavy. So sometimes I even have to hoist it up if it's that heavy. And I'll just put my bow on my backpack and just pull everything up, which I hate doing cause it's so heavy. And I get hot and tired and whatever. But then sometimes I'm literally like struggling to like lift it. Which luckily I, it's still safe because I can be hands free in this and it's like if I drop my backpack I would probably cry but it's better than yourself falling out of a tree so that's probably my biggest struggle but that's literally nothing to do with the saddle it's just what I have to deal with because I self film so handed so this is like my best shooting I try to put this as my best shooting side um, so
so a lot of times my backpack will go over here or I'll put it on the back side of a tree whatever is easiest um, but I like to just have it either really high or just like away from me because with my bow here and my camera arm and stuff right here it's kind of it gets cluttered all right so I brought you guys up in the tree with me and Honestly, I apologize if the autofocus is annoying. I'm not sure why it's not wanting to fully focus, but anyway, so this is my perspective. Um, this is what you're gonna see. And what I meant earlier about those clips. So um, you're gonna hook this part into whatever, tighten it, but then obviously you want this side pulling away from this side so they're taunt. Um, so what I do is I take a clip, hook it into one of these extra loops, and then all the excess that's like hanging, like this extra piece, pull back, make it nice and tight, and then um, just take a clip and hook them together. That way this is not going anywhere. So then it doesn't matter how heavy your stuff is, it's gonna hang. And then what I like to do is have my bow hook on this side somewhere just kind of depends on the tree if i got a lot of limbs like this sometimes what i'll do is i'll take this extra extra rope here and i'll actually like hang it out on a limb wrap it around a couple times and then i'll take another one of those clips kind of do the same thing and and make sure um, that i connect that nice and tight and then i'll take my bow hook kind of doing this one-handed here. Um, I'll take my bow hook and just hang it off of that. Like show. And then this all just like get out of the way, whatever. And then you can hang your bow like out of way of the tree if you would like. So I'll just leave it there for now. Um, as you can see, it's not going anywhere. As long as your limb is thick enough to hold your bow, you're good. Uh, so you guys are gonna get like a sneak peek of the new bow I just built which is coming in the next video uh, but anyway this is like my perspective so here I've got my back support so we're gonna uh, take that off all right so might be easier if you just look at it from this way back support um, literally just slide it over you way I like to keep it roughly under my um, armpits I find that to be the most comfortable position because your saddle is holding basically your lower back and your butt where you want your more extra support up top like that so I think armpit height maybe a little lower just depending on how tall you are um, is good and then what I like to do is there's some extra straps if it's tight um, basically the length you want it is enough that your back is leaning back just a touch more than your butt I find that to be the most comfortable uh, for like long sits and then if you need to like stand up you can literally just take these two and just pull them tight and then that'll pull you forward um, so what I do is I don't know how to show you guys this. Hang on. Um, okay. So what I do is I take the main part of it, slip it right in the carabiner, and like I said, you just want to adjust your straps so that you can lean back a little bit. I mean, some people maybe want to lean forward, or if you're down against the tree, it might be better to, to pull it tighter. Um, kind of just depends how you're sitting. Um, but then all this extra, I like to just loop it like through the carabiner, like opposite directions. And then any of the extra extra, I put down into the sides of my saddle. That way they're kind of more along my legs and they're not out here flapping in the breeze, spooking all the deer. So um, obviously there's kind of a lot going on as far as ropes um it's just kind of part of it but i honestly i've never had a deer like look up at me because i'm wearing a saddle 
um, you know, they might smell me or something and notice me, but it, I've never had like stuff moving or any moving parts that have been an issue. So I don't know if that's something anyone's worried about, but um, I don't know, you kind of just have to customize it and make it what is comfortable for you. Um, so I guess now that I'm kind of situated, then what I do, tell me I didn't bring you up. Oh, okay. Then what I do is um, I take my cushion, cushion, and wrap it around the tree. I'll try to show you this again. This might be in the way, I don't know. Can't even see the tree, can you? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. I'm just not sure if this is gonna fall. There we go. Yes. Okay. So, um, take this. Literally just found this at Walmart and it's pretty much the same color as almost any tree. Um, so, it blends in pretty good. I don't know if you guys notice I'm doing like a really green theme this year. Oh gosh, I just broke it. No, I didn't. Um, come on. Kinda have to be careful, they are cheap made. Um, but anyway, just kinda let it hang right where your knees are. That way you can lean into it and it makes it super comfortable for all day sits. I know that was like one question that a lot of you had had is, you know, um, is it good for sitting all day? Yes. It's really not any different in my opinion. Oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry, this is part of self-filming is dealing with it. Okay, I'll just come back up. <laughs> Make it easier. Um, but I, I really like it. Um, just, I don't know. It's just, I think it's a lot more comfortable, to be honest. I mean, don't get me wrong. When you're sitting all day, if you're in the same position, it doesn't matter how you're sitting, you're going to get a little bit like, okay, I'm ready to move. Awkward, uncomfortable, whatever. But it's not something that's unbearable. Um, and the simple fix to that is just move how you're sitting. Like you can sit this way, you can literally turn because your, your straps move with you, your hip straps, they all move. Um, and so you can just literally turn sideways, lean against the tree sideways. You can lounge in it, you can, I mean, stand up, just stand up if you need to. Just literally do whatever. So anyway, that's, uh, that's that part. Now we're gonna rig up my camera setup, kind of how I did everything, and we'll pull my bow up, and that's the gist. So, camera. Um, so once I get my back support on, oh, actually, really fast. If you have binos, my favorite thing to do is clip them into the carabiner, because if it, like, like I said earlier, is I like my backpack being out of my way, so I try to keep the least amount of important stuff in there as possible um so my binos i like to have close um so i just clip them into the carabiner and they are pretty much free hanging but they're not really in the way because my bow is you know gonna be over here over here um you know i can turn and they're just out of the way um and then if i need them i just grab them and use them so that's pretty much how that is um, so the camera you guys are looking through right now is my second shot angle. Uh, so basically that's the one that I have pointing on me most of the time because it's tiny. Um, it's my Canon G7X and I really, really like this camera. It's got a little tweak here and there. Like, I don't know if you guys can notice the autofocus. Sometimes it just doesn't want to focus on me, but, um, other than that, I really have had no complaints with it it's super nice for that second angle um so for my main camera which currently is a sony um 6300 
um, A6300 um, and it is good. It's a great camera, but it's not good for self-filming. And I'm gonna do another video talking about what I recommend. I do have a video out already talking about my setup for last year, but um, I would not recommend getting that if you're trying to self-film. If you have somebody else filming you, totally great. Um, it's just kind of not the most user-friendly for deer hunting when there's quick things happening and you're trying to literally manually do everything. Don't recommend it, but I make it work. So anyway, um, basically for this, this is the Reach. Um, a good friend of mine actually makes these. Uh, his name is Garrett and I'm gonna have links to literally everything down in the description So if you guys want to know where you can find everything just search below, but um, This I think was a prototype. He made a different one. That's a square bracket And I think I really want to get the square bracket because I don't really care for the three prong legs because it tends to shift um, Where the square is literally four corners. It's not gonna like favor one side or the other um, so that's gonna be a change I think I'm gonna make, but for this year, this is super nice. It's a ball and socket joint, and you literally just squeeze this handle to loosen or tighten. And then you just rotate wherever you need the, you know, camera, however you need to make it level. So uh, once you get it in place, you just lock it tight and you're good to go. Um, so for now, we'll just lock it okay um, I'm gonna do this as great as I can no promises okay so for the video I just moved my backpack out of the way um, and obviously a lot of this is tree dependent too like it just depends on what limbs are where and all that kind of stuff as to where you put some like where you put everything so um, but anyway for this bracket what I do is I take a ratchet strap your standard ratchet strap and I cut it short um, just to fit the average tree and I am right hand shooter so my left side is typically my dominant side of where I'm going to be shooting like in an ideal situation that's where I hope the deer is on my left side because I'm going to be like this um, so I like to have my camera on the right side because I'm right-handed, so it's easy for me to have my ball in my left hand, ready to go, move the camera where I need to, get ready, shoot, you know, stuff like that. Um, so what I like to do is, the bracket that it comes with is three joints. Three joints. My fluid head is excessively big. It, I didn't realize that when I bought it, so that's why it kind of seems obnoxious. But um, there's three joints, one, two, and then this is the third one that attaches to the tree. Um, so you kind of have to just know your camera arm and uh, how far it can reach as to where you place it. I like to kind of place it next to me. Um, that way I can push it out this, the whole way around this side of the tree, or I can wrap it, bring it in close right on this side, um, or even like maybe behind me stuff like that so you kind of have to play around with it sometimes I don't get set up how I want to and that's just part of it but um, so for this I'm gonna take, and I like to keep usually I like to keep my camera at about hip height I guess so if I'm standing right here um, that way it's not like too high where if I need to shoot right here, it won't be in my way, it'll still be low. Um, so that's kind of like the main reason, pro tip I guess, if you wanna pay attention to that. Um, so let me just get this little puppy situated. And obviously ratchet straps have a slight amount of noise, but I've never had an issue of like spooking a deer with a ratchet. So I continue to use them. Uh, I guess it would help if I put it, wait, yeah, this way. So um, this is kind of where the three prong issue comes in for me is I 
sometimes have issues where it like slips because there's only one foot at the bottom. Um, so you can literally flip it around if you need to and then you just twist that to flip it the other way so it fits upright but um, you kind of just have to figure out what works best. Um, sometimes it helps to put it like kind of on top of a limb if you need to. Um, for this video I'm just gonna put it like right here. And then what I do is just take these two eye hooks, I guess you'd call them, and intertwine them into each other, like that. So, um, I like ratchets simply because they will not move. If you tighten them and like crank them tight, they're not gonna go anywhere. So you don't have to worry about your camera slipping unless you have a crappy bracket, which, like I said, I would prefer a different one, but. It works. So just do this. And then I like to leave a little bit of slack in it just so I can actually crank it tight. Honestly, the hardest thing about all this is the self-filming aspect. Like the saddle itself is so easy to get up in and it takes no time. Sticks, okay, camera stuff is first. That takes the longest to set up. And, and be good with it. Sticks are second, and then the saddle. Super easy. So, just do this. Crank it tight, as tight as you can. Kinda depends on the bark of the tree sometimes too. Okay, so that's on there. And then I just tuck this out of the way, wherever. So then this part, you kind of, I like to just kind of get it close to level, lock it in, not extremely tight. Um, and you kind of have to keep in mind that if you have a giant fluid head like I do, it's heavier on the end, plus the camera weight, which I didn't grab my camera, but you'll get the idea. Slide this puppy in. Okay, and then there's a level on the top of this one. Every camera arm is different, but they all should have like the basics of how to level it out. And then you just kind of level it as best you can. And then lock it in super tight. Okay, so there you have it. You got your camera arm ready to go. Move it around, literally wrap it around the tree if you want to. If you need to film on that side, deer's over there. Um, kind of just depends on the camera that you have. If you can flip your screen around, which is a lot of the issue that I tend to run into. Um, the, the Sony a6300 does not have a screen that rotates any direction. So sometimes if I don't have it like right where I can see the screen, I don't always know what I'm filming, um, which is, not what you want when you're trying to film a deer. Um, I really like this fluid head. I just wish it was a little bit smaller, but it does the job. So yeah, that's your, your setup. You swing it around. Put it. Sometimes I like to just bend all the joints and then just move the top part. Film this way, film that way, whatever. Um, and obviously you can move the whole thing out of your way if like you need to shoot this way. So, um, next I guess we'll bring the bow up. So like I said, I like to have just like a bow rope. Mine's purple. Uh, so this is like the last step. And then I just tuck that somewhere. And uh, yeah, you can just hang it on your bow hook that's ready to go. So this is my point of view, tighten that. Um, got your camera arm to one side, bow on the other. And yes, there's a sneak preview of the new Prima. I'm so excited about this thing. I love it. Um, so be on the lookout for that video next, but yeah, I mean, like I said with everything, it's like super custom. Like you just have to put things 
where you can figure it out. Um, the biggest thing is just try to be safe. You know, I mean, it's, I'm literally hanging from a tree, not going anywhere. So for the most part, you're fine. You just have to use common sense. Um, here's a little close up of what I was saying about this clip that slides. So when you're using it, you want to relax on your weight. Like don't lean into it. Just fully stand forward. It's kind of hard to do this one handed. Um, but then all you do is pull this little tab. Hang on. I'm going to do this one handed. Okay. Then you literally just take this and you pull it up and you can slide up and down. Or if you're just trying to de or if you're trying to pull it tighter, all you need to do is take your rope and just pull it up, which like I said, don't hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. You just take your rope and pull it up. So anyway, uh, sorry for that terrible visual, but you get the idea. So these are super nice um, and they're fast. You need to go up or down, you just boop. So that is pretty much my saddle setup. And I'm gonna show you the new stuff. Super cool. All right, the burning question. What is new this year? So, for the 2021 year, we have got the one sticks. Um, they come in a set of three, I believe. You can get more. Um, and I used these briefly at the end of last season. They are super lightweight. Like three of these weigh less than one of my hawk sticks, which is why I'm probably gonna try these this year. Um, the basic idea is you're, you just have this thinner rope, goes around the tree, then you're gonna kinda, what's the word? Sailor hitch, I think, um, the knot, so that it stays attached. But they are super lightweight, super easy, um, and I'm excited to use these, so. That's one new thing. Next are knee pads, and I have not really tried these out, but just by feeling them, they feel super comfortable, and I have had times where I love this thing, but sometimes it is not quite thick enough. I think it's about, I don't know, maybe an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick, and if you got a tree with a lot of like spiky things pointing out, um, yeah, they, they can kind of suck. So this part is not only padded, but then it's got this like harder shell. Um, so if anything's hard on your tree, it's not gonna hurt your knees. Super, super excited about these. Then, oh, what else we got? Oh, we got this like skin, like this wrap. Um, the sticks are made out of Aluminum, I believe, so they can be a little noisy. Personally, I don't have too much of an issue, I don't think, but we'll see. Um, but you can get these wraps for them to make them silent. It's like a soft material and just sticks on the back. Like, peel the sticky off, put it on, good to go. So that's that. Then we have... We have smaller lineman ropes and tethers. So these are the eight millimeter and the ones that I have been using are 11. So realistically, I think it's just to um, get as light as possible. This year is about like, you don't want any more weight than you absolutely need. And so stuff like this adds like, it's amazing how much of a weight difference there is. So um, they made the lineman and the tether rope, both eight millimeter. So that's pretty cool. Um, I have not yet tried them, but if you get those, you need the, it's called Kong, like King Kong. Um, it's 
basically the smaller of this um, just to fit the smaller ropes lighter weight really don't see much difference except it looks like this one has a roller in it hmm I have not yet tried this, so we're gonna have to test that out, but, uh, is that it? Oh, they got new, wait, yeah. Different carabiner clips um, to go along with the new, um, they're both Kong. So, and I'm not trying to make this an advertisement, really, I'm just trying to show you guys, like, the different options that you have. You don't have to just use this one thing. Um, obviously there's different brands that you can check out too, but I really like Tethered and they're always making improvements. So, uh, yeah, and then you get this sick neck gaiter. <gasps> For anyone who watches me, you know that I love neck gaiters. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I think that's all the new new for this year. Um, I don't think I missed anything. So, yeah. So, anybody who wants to check it out, like I said, link below. And they got all kinds of stuff to choose from. You can customize, mix and match, and, and find what fits you. Which is my favorite thing. Because everyone hunts different. Everyone has different strategies. And I would say I'm very unconventional with a lot of the way I do things. Like this for sure so uh yeah you got options all right so really fast this is gonna try to be a way to make you feel more comfortable with it um i'm gonna just hang from it kind of do some weird stuff that you're actually not gonna do but I just want to show you how safe it really is. The weight rating for tethered stuff is 300 pounds. So even if you feel like you're a bigger person and you, you might not feel comfortable with that, like I personally know guys who are big dudes, husky dudes, who get in the tree super easy, love it. So um, obviously that's not me, I'm small, but it does work. So um, don't do this at home. <laughs> to show you how like comfortable I am in it I'm not gonna do stupid stuff but like realistically you can swing around <laughs> hang from it <laughs> you're not gonna go anywhere hang off the side hands free You just move it, adjust it to where you need it. If you sit in the tree, I would maybe make this a little higher up. hair but literally do a 180 turn around or you can do the hard way like I do and flip your bow in front of you and then you just rotate shoot this way I mean you can kind of just do whatever so You're not gonna be doing that when you're hunting, but that's how comfortable I am. And uh, yeah, I think there's just a lot of like unknowns since it's like saddle hunting is just a resurfacing thing. Um, 
but I hope I covered everyone's questions and if not reach out to me I'll do my best to answer tethered actually does teach and trains so if you are genuinely looking to get in the equipment before you buy um, they travel around the country and you just go on their website and find the location that's closest to you and they will literally show you how to do it they will do everything I just did and probably more so um, this is uh, hopefully helpful for you guys and if anything else maybe just show you how to use a saddle even if you're not sure about it or maybe not even wanting to buy something um, so that was just my setup for this past year I only shot one deer I could have shot more but it's just certain things like the camera is honestly my biggest issue every time um, so sometimes that doesn't work out but um, I'm really excited about it, about it this year and I will be hopefully doing just as many states as last year and um, yeah, I'm excited about it. So that being said, that's about the end of this video and the next one to come out is gonna be my bow build, which I'm super stoked about and yeah, it'll be a good one. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this helped you and uh, check the description for all the links to everything that I use and um, comment if you have any questions. All right, thanks guys.